Hi guys, it's me Super and I'm just going to do a very quick uh, makeup tutorial. Um, I haven't done one in a while and I just don't wear a lot of makeup, even though I have so much. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and just make this quick. I'll try not to talk a lot. I should do the no talk challenge on this because um, I fail. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Scandinavia the Makeup Spray. And I don't know if you can get this at the regular store. I just got it online and it wasn't that expensive actually. I think it was like 12 bucks. I'm just going to do a light mist. Oops. Let me get my fan. I feel like I want this. I don't do this thing. All right. And I'm going to be using the Becca under eye brightening corrector and it's like a salmon color again this is what I use to correct my dark circles and I'm gonna of course do it with my little ring finger it's very little some fuzz in my face. Now I use this a lot over my eyelid because uh, I'm going through puberty I guess. Second one. Anyway, um, I use this over my lid because I do have a lot of veins and uh, if you're like me you have a lot of veins this does a pretty good job of covering it up and you can see the difference. Very big difference. So I like it a lot. I'll do the other eye. Do the other eye. And again I just dab it on there. I don't rub it on there. much brighter. Uh, I swear I'll get through one of these one day without making crack jokes or I don't know funny faces. I doubt it. Okay and for my primer I'm going to use the Gorlain Lore which you guys remember me. I think I did this maybe a month ago maybe longer and it has gold particles in there and that helps with um, making it your face more luminous and also tightening because gold does that right I wish I could just put a sheet of gold on my face <sighs> all right so I'm gonna use a pump of that And I'm going to be putting this all over except around my eye area. I'm going to have to use more because that just absorbed it. Ooh, I see little cool particles in there. That's so cool. This does have a uh, perfume. Not perfume. It has a scent. But very fresh. Very fresh. Nothing too overpowering or anything like that. Am I perfect? <laughs> Alright guys, and I'm going to go next with my Born This Way from Too Faced. I am in the shade Nude. I think last time I used like a pump and a half. I'm not too sure. All right, I'm going to go with that for now. If I need more, I can always come back to it. And that looks like it is enough. I don't need any more than that.
All right, so now we're going to continue with the NARS um, Creamy Concealer. I use this in the shade Vanilla. You know me. Got to go down the nose. Make myself a flower up there. Do the cupid's bow. A little bit on the chin. You want to brighten? Way to go. All right, I'm going to be using. I apologize. I didn't even say I use my for my foundation brush. I use my spoon brush, the Artiste, and then for my concealer, I'm going to be using the Artiste Oval Six. The other one was an Oval Seven. All right, and to go prime my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I have this in the Anti-Aging. And I'm going to use very, very, very little of this. This stuff is like super concentrated and I mean a little bit goes a long way, so. Alright guys, then I'm going to put some of my Sugar Therapy from Fresh for my lips because they are drying out a little bit. Though let me tell you, for the past almost week, we've had so much rain. Houston is under flood warnings. Um, we were under flood watch. It's pretty bad. We have two creeks in our community and um, they're like almost overflowing. And so we have our ducks that live there. Not ours, but the community ducks and stuff. And uh, Anyway, hold on. <sighs> that was good. <laughs> All right, and so moving on to the colors that I'm going to be using. I'm going to use Too Faced Sugar Pop Sugary Sweet Eyeshadow Collection. And the colors are here and it's not a big palette but I really like it because you can take this and travel and you have your you know neutrals and you have exotic colors right here and you have your pink and peach and it's just a, a good palette to take and it does come with a mirror all right so I'm gonna be using that and I'm only gonna be using about two colors I'm going to be using the rock candy and the peach fuzz which rock candy is up here and the peach fuzz is here. And this has a sweet smell, but it's not as potent as the peach or the chocolate bonbon. And this is just going to be an over shadow base. Sorry. Right. And I'm going to be using the peach fuzz just on the lid. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so like messed up today. Uh, for that all over, I used it cosmetic, and I'm telling you, these people tend not to put either numbers, or if they do put numbers, actually, there's a number, but I'm wearing contacts, and I just can't read it. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Sorry, I'll try to get my double glass and see if I can read the numbers. There's definitely numbers on there, I just don't, I can't tell which one it is. And for the I did one, for just a lid, I'm gonna use my Morphe B15, which is the one I really like. 
And before, well, after my last video, I went ahead and washed all my brushes, and I haven't used them since then. And this peach fuzz does have a little bit of shape to it. Not a big shimmer, but just, you know, enough to say, hey, there's something there. Is she naturally like that? Does she naturally have shimmer? <laughs> Actually, I am going to use this um, macaron peach color right here. I'm going to just make a little bit of a crease just to give myself some definition there. I'm going to be using my Morphe M561 for that. I can you see it? Just going to literally just see very middle. Just to give myself some definition because it's pretty bland with those two on there. It's not a lot, but it's enough to just make a difference. Again, not a lot, just not. I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to that peach fuzz. Just put a little bit more on the lid. All right, guys. And so now I'm gonna go do my eyebrows. You guys know you use that I, I use the Anastasia. If it focuses, in medium brown, and I'll be back. All right, guys, and I'm back, and they're done. I think they came out really good today. Sometimes you have good days, and sometimes you don't, and um, looks like today's a good day. <laughs> All right, and so now I'm moving on to, uh, I'm going to put just a, so I wanted to keep the eye very simple. I just wanted to do one, one liner, and I'm going to be using the Stella Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and that is an intense block. And I think it's trying to focus on my fingers, and not my, ooh, any day now. There we go. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go in now with my Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline in Walk to Shame. All right, guys, so now I'm going to contour, and I'm going to be using my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, which I got this at Ulta, and it was, uh, you know, it's a great buy. It was like, I don't remember how much, but it's not that expensive at all. And I'm going to be going in with this color, which is, doesn't say. It has numbers on the back. I think it's 08. Yeah, 08. And these you can take out, like, if you're traveling. So, you don't have to take the whole palette, which is nice. And I'm going to be going in with my, mm, uh, my Spoon Artist Oval 7. <laughs> I call it the spoon. My husband calls it the spoon. The spoon, he says. I'm gonna like this brush because it blends everything else so well. I'm gonna be blending this up. That's pretty nice. All right, and so for just to give myself more definition, I'm gonna be using a little Laura Mercier um, baking powder. I know, we're cooking. It's also a good show. And I'm going to be using my M, sorry, my Morphe M444 brush. If it ever focuses it, it's really dense. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get some powder. I'm gonna put it down here. And that'll give me a key, uh, key, key, crease. Give me more definition. See? All right. Again, I like that brush. Bristles are soft, very dense, awesome for uh, contouring. All right, into bronze, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Milk Chocolate. And uh, there it goes. And I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics brush. And again, let's see if this has a number. It is a bigger brush. And I do see a number. It's C50. I think it's a zero. Yeah, 5087. So there are numbers in here. It's a really nice brush. Again, dense. Um, but this is more for uh, bronzing. Yes. 
I smell it every time. Makes me hungry. My stomach almost growled. Oh, no, I just had an egg. All right, now that I smell like chocolate, I'm going to go in with my blush. And today I'm actually going to be using this new Este Edit, um, the Barest Blush, 03, the Purest Pink. And that's what it looks like. It's just launched not too long ago. I got this at Sephora. And it's very pretty inside. Now it does have this, if I know how to open this, yeah, I was right. Seriously? All right, so it does come with a mirror, but it has this little blotch right here, that, which looks like a little blotch of paint. And as soon as you start using it, it's like a shimmer, which I thought it was going to go all the way through, but it doesn't. But it gives you the shimmer the first or two times, and then the shimmer goes away, and then you just have a pretty blush. So I'm going to be using my Clinique brush, blush brush. See, it's almost gone. And it is very potent. And it's blends really pretty, as you can see. I just took the excess off the other cheek. Alright guys, and for the highlighting I'm gonna go with the Becca. A shimmering uh, skin perfecter in Moonstone and again I got this at Sephora when they were having um, the Sephora sale it's a very pretty color I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see that and I'm gonna be using my Morphe G23 brush like I'm getting better at this Going to, actually, I've never used this one, so I'm going to try it for the first time here. So hey, we'll see first impressions. Who knows? Now, I do like some Anastasia, so we'll see how this goes on. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, that's uh, very pretty there. Other side. I'll get some shimmer. All right, you guys know my process. Alright guys, now that the highlighting is done, we're going to go ahead and move on to our lips. And I'm going to go with my NYX um, Nude Lip Liner. And I'll be back. Alright guys, uh, lip liner is done and I'm going to be using this Tarte. Uh, it's in basic, but I really like this. It's a nude and I really like it. Again, lip gloss is here, lipstick is here, and I'll be right back as soon as it focuses. Alright guys, so I'm going to end it with the Scandinavian Makeup Finishing Spray. And I bought this one together with the other one with the primer spray. And then when I bought those two, I think I paid $24 for both. And then I got two traveling smaller size, which was perfect. And uh, I'll be right back. Here I am. All right, guys, this is my finished look, and uh, kind of like the way my makeup looks today. So, yay for me. I think I'm getting better at this, guys. Let me know if you guys want me to try different stuff, um, different looks. Just comment below. Let me know. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to please subscribe. Remember that if I get to 100 subscribers, I will be doing my husband's makeup. Help me, please. I really want to do it. I would like to see how some blues look at his beautiful eyes. Anyway, not much else. Just uh, have a blessed day. Be kind to one another. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.